So it's it's my pleasure to to present uh, the, the the treatment for HIV uh, as a uh, which will be the therapy in 2030. So I am very thankful to the organizers for inviting me. These are my disclosures. And uh, the uh, development of antiretroviral th therapy has been very successful. Uh, and in only 10 years, uh, since 1987 to 1996, uh, we were capable to develop drugs that uh, could uh, control viral replication. And since that moment, many different uh, compounds came out uh, with uh, more potency and less toxicity. And we have now more than 30 drugs and uh, 10 different classes. And although we continue developing antiretroviral therapy and uh, we have very exciting compounds coming, coming soon, uh, when I prepared this slide, uh, uh, this concrete slide, a few years ago, I thought that in, in 2030 uh, we could uh, uh, face the end of the AIDS epidemic. Uh, hopefully that will, could happen, but still there is a lot of work to do. And uh, for that aim, uh, we need to uh, make available generics mostly to sub-Saharan countries. Now, these days, uh, we have uh, these compounds, uh, which are the, the single tablet regimens, brand names. And being very sincere, I, ha I need to write down these names and to take a look to them in order to uh, remember uh, uh, what they uh, mean. Uh, because by heart, sometimes it's difficult to, 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 to remember, to don't forget the, the compounds that uh, are included uh, in these single tablet regimens. But these are very promising uh, strategies. But of course, we need the, 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 that, um, the antiretrovirals, uh, more, the most potent ones, mostly the, 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 the integrase inhibitors, become uh, uh, available soon in order to make them uh, uh, useful, uh, to, to provide them to the countries which are. Uh, with high uh, percentage of, of new infections and requires therapy to all infected people to, to stop the, the transmission of the HIV. Therefore, uh, we have to, to, to think of how cheaply could medicines be produced and widespread access to generics in low-income in low countries uh, would be, uh, will be very important and when patents uh, have expired, drugs should be available uh, available worldwide uh, at those uh, at close to the cost of production. However, few national health services know this cost, and there is widespread overcharging and pricing transparency is needed, and lower cost for generics could drive down pat patented drug prices in the same therapeutic area. And this is uh, very important these days that we are suffering this sort of tsunami, which is the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, the economy of, of the world will uh, be uh, very impacted by the crisis. And we will need to have uh, access to therapies that should cost less than it used to cost in order to, to cope with this treatment that so far the therapy for HIV is, is uh, for life and therefore we need uh, low cost of this therapy. But I selected the, 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 the drugs that are uh, upcoming uh, to, to, to focus on them because they are very, very exciting and probably in 2030 they will be very frequently used. And I, I I divided the upcoming new drugs in entry inhibitors, long-acting inhibitors, and RT inhibitors. Uh, regarding uh, entry inhibitors, let me start by uh, Ivalizumab, which is a humanized IG4 monoclonal antibody that blocks the entry of human HIV-1 
uh, by non-competitive binding to the CD4 receptor. In this slide, in purple, we show how ivalizumab is attaching to the CD4 receptor. And regarding the, the, the potency, ivalizumab has been tested in patients with advanced disease. And in this uh, context, when the baseline CD4 counts are higher than 50, the efficacy achieved uh, with ivalizumab is very high like is shown in bars here, and the reduction in, 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 in the viral load is also very, very significant in the, in the, in the context of very advanced population. In, in, uh, and I, it was shown uh, in this multi-drug resistance uh, uh, HIV infection, uh, people harboring multi-drug resistant viruses that prolonged therapy with ivalizumab was uh, effective. But in, in, in few of them, there was an emergence of diminished uh, susceptibility that was uh, proof in vitro. But anyway, this is a, a, a weapon that we could be using uh, in those that we need to rescue and have developed significant resistance to different uh, available drugs. Another uh, uh, compound uh, is uh, Fostensavir. Fostensavir is first in class attachment inhibitor is uh, binds to GP120 and prevents prevents one one GP120 binding to CD4 and is active against R5 X4 and combination of both viruses when tested alone for a, a week period although not impressive but significantly superior to the placebo uh, it, show, it was shown that uh, a, a close to a log decrease in viral load was achieved and then the, 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 the drug should be combined with uh, uh, other uh, drugs that could make them more potent. Uh, also, in, in the BRIGHT study, so when uh, using combination, we, we, we observe significant uh, decrease in viral load for uh, 48 weeks when uh, uh, combined with uh, other uh, almost fully active drugs. Now, when we focus on long-acting inhibitors, uh, long-acting cabotegravir and rilpivirin administered together has been shown very active, uh, very potent uh, during uh, since the uh, three years ago so uh, uh, we have seen several studies conducted uh, with these uh, two compounds and uh, when looking at the uh, com uh, com when we have uh, uh, compare compare both the 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 standard of care versus cabotegravir and rilpivirin we can observe similar efficacy in both strategies and then uh, when uh, we analyzed the Atlas uh, uh, results uh, achieved uh, every, uh, during uh, 48 weeks. The conclusions are that are, these are, uh, um, this combination is, is, is very potent and biological suppression is achieved in a very high percentage of people. The majority of, of them prefer every eight week, every, every uh, uh, eight weeks, every uh, it is every two months than every every month, every four weeks. So now we have uh, uh, the, the possibility to dose every two months this in innovative strategy that will make uh, uh, more comfortable the antiretroviral therapy to many people. Another lo long lasting uh, 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 effective compound uh, is uh, uh, Lenacapavir. Lenacapavir is first in class uh, HIV capsid inhibitor and acts uh, in, in uh, multiple processes uh, essential for viral replication. Uh, and as it is the capsid disassembly, the virus production and capsid assembly. And uh, it has been shown that uh, lenacapavir might last for six months, achieving values uh, above IC50. Uh, when using uh, the slow release uh, administration, 
in a subcutaneous uh, manner, we need to uh, uh, start with uh, uh, oral uh, loading dose uh, for uh, achieving immediate levels, and then we can administer subcutaneous levels, and this could last for uh, six months. Another long lasting is Leron Limap, which is a humanized IG, IG4 monoclonal antibody that blocks HIV entry by binding, binding CCR5 with high affinity. Do not block the natural activity of CCR5 in vitro and is active against multidrug resistance, including maraviroc resistant viruses. And this compound uh, uh, can be uh, administered every week and uh, it has been shown efficacy uh, with highly efficacy uh, during 48 weeks and uh, there are trials showing that could be administered as a, as a monotherapy study in those that are, are, have uh, um, undetectable by the load and not harboring resistance and also in combination studies with other compounds in those that may be harboring resistance and uh, the last two compounds I want to focus on are the uh, reverse transcriptase inhibitors, Islatravir and Doravirin. Islatravir is a first-in-class uh, translocation in, in, in inhibitor that prevents the opening of the nucleotide binding site. Additional uh, nucleotides cannot be incorporated into the viral DNA. It's, as I said, a first-in-class and it's a very potent one that together with Doravirin, which is a next generation NNRTI uh, that uh, is active in, uh, in, uh, in front of viruses harboring the most common resistance mutations to uh, the most frequently used so far NNRTIs, 1F3N, 181C, 190A, and combination of these mutations but it has been shown very, very active and very potent. And it has been proposed to combine in the future Islatravir and Doravirin as a dual therapy that could be uh, very active, very potent, and uh, could uh, uh, also be used replacing uh, current therapy, which could be not uh, very well tolerated. As a summary, Treating in HIV in 2030, I would say that in high-income resource countries with long-acting regimens, uh, we will use long-acting regimens weekly, monthly, or even less often, uh, twice per year. But we have to take into account the cost and the crisis that uh, will might still be present, uh, despite that uh, we have uh, 10 years ahead. And, uh, but and in the other side, the in poor resource countries, generics and mostly integrated inhibitors at a very low price will be used and will allow to treat near all infected population and therefore block HIV transmission and, and, and achieve the, 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 the goal of uh, no more transmission and uh, the end of HIV uh, epidemics. And hopefully attempts to cure uh, HIV would have been uh, achieved and uh, using uh, uh, latency reactivation agents plus therapeutic vaccines plus broadly neutralizing antibodies. I'm convinced that this combination will have demonstrated that cure is achievable and then we will need to progress more in the combination of these strategies but I, I hope that we will arrive the day that we will cure, cure HIV in infected population. Let me th uh, Finish by special thanks to my colleagues, uh, Jure Maria Libra, Eugenia Negredo, Julia Blanco, and Javier Martinez Picado. Thank you very much for your attention.